Hi guys, John Comets is Outdoors. This is part three of my hatchet restoration. Uh, it's all painted up. I have two coats of primer, three coats of black. Looking a little better. It's time to put a handle on it. So I'm gonna try to do this quickly. Maybe I can show you the whole thing. Maybe we'll stop part way through. I don't know yet. that. So I've just got a towel on this vise. Try not to mess up my paint job too bad. Uh, I did make the hole on the top a little bit bigger than it was. That's because we're going to put a paracord handle on it. I'm going to use a trilobite weave, done a little bit differently than you've probably seen other people do. The first thing is, I'm going to feed my, I have a 20 foot piece of OD green paracord here. I'm going to feed it through that top hole, get the ends even. I'm going to bring it down through the back hole with both pieces, both ends. So you can see what I did there. So I'm through here. This is the middle of my 20 foot piece. Both ends through that side. Wish I could get a better angle on this for you. Let me put you where you can see what I'm doing without me being in the way here. Okay, then I'm going to take the right side, go under, over the handle, under the other side. On the opposite side, I'm going to go over, under the handle, over. Another thing that I'm going to try to be doing here is this handle is really narrow this way. It's pretty good this way, but this way it's narrow, so I want to bulk it up on the sides rather than on the top and the bottom of the handle. That's why I'm. <clears throat> that's why I've chose to go with this weave, hoping that what I envision will work. repetitive process kind of probably make for a boring video I might get it about halfway in call that good for
showing you. I don't know. Let's see how long it takes me here. Not sure how much cord it's going to take. So I just grabbed a 20 foot piece and we'll see how we how we do. Each time I'm pulling tight on both sides and then pulling it back towards the back. With the way that cord's going through the hole in the end, there's no way it can ever slide off the back. The hole in the other end, there's no way it's ever going to be able to slide off the front. Once we get it all tight on there, it should be there for good. thinking by doing the weave in this manner I'm trying to make the width of the handle wider so that it will fit my hand better You guys probably can't see this very well. Let me actually, I'm going to move you and see if I can get a better angle for you. Let's loosen that up. Slide the handle down like that. See if I can put you right here. If I can work around the tripod. Sorry, hold still. Put it bouncing around. There you go. crappy tripod okay so all I've been doing now that you can see the right angle is going under over the top under pull that through take your other side and it's the opposite over under the handle over Pull them tight this way, pull it tight down, over and over until we reach the end.
something I forgot to mention on the last part before I painted this. And because I was sanding with, I was doing quite a bit of wet sanding with WD-40. Before I painted it, I did one last step of taking it into the sink and scrubbing it down with an SOS pad to get all the oil off of it before I painted it. Starts to get a little bit easier as my cord gets shorter, but it's still pretty long. I don't like to let it twist either when I'm doing it. I'm all, all sorts of bending myself out of shape here trying to do this to where you can see what I'm doing. This is the same weave that I use on my bracelets. It's just going to look a lot different because it's got an axe handle under it. Well, not a lot different, but a little different. So in case you've watched my other videos and you've heard me, well, I think I've said in one of the other videos that it takes me an hour to make one of my survival bracelets. And you can get the idea of why right here. This isn't even counting the rest of the things I have to do to put together a bracelet. board yet <laughs> I imagine you get the idea and I could show you show you the handle done in the next part because there's actually two more things I'm going to do to this hatchet But I'd kind of like to get to the end in case somebody wants to see how I finish it off. Tripod keeps going loose on me.
20 feet is going to be a little much. But it would suck to get down to the end and be short. I have to take it off and do it all over again. thing about paracord <clears throat> is it should be real comfortable in the hand as long as this weave works out like I'm hoping it's going to and make it wider in my palm that's the other nice thing is you can't go wrong with having extra paracord with you in a, in a pinch if I needed cord take this off the handle Hatch is still going to be usable. Almost there. try to get another one in there make it a little tighter to do that I'm gonna clip off the end needle. These are the same needles that I weave the jute through my bracelets with if you've seen that video. Melt that on there good. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Another needle. Now that we have needles, we should be able to sneak it through there one more time at least. That would help if I had the right cord in my hand when I did that. Just check and see if you guys were paying attention. I think we're going to get another one on there. What did I do? Okay, time for mistakes, I guess. Go back here and try this one again the right way.
I think that's all we're going to get on there, guys. trip through each side just one extra loop and then chop those off Mattel left a mark. I let this paint set up for 24 hours and it's still not cured all the way. Okay, so it looks like I chopped off about six feet. So to finish that up, all I'm going to do is melt those ends. Carefully, trying not to melt the rest of it. Of course, I bring out a lighter that's giving me a fit. There we have it, guys. If you can see how much wider that is now with those down the middle. That, that fits nice. I didn't like how narrow it was before. I like it now. Well, it's been long enough already, so Hope you like it. Let me know what you think. Like I said, I think there's going to be two more parts. I need two more things to this hatchet, and then we'll be done. So, thanks for watching, guys. See you in part four.